the best for the fire department. As we all can see from today's turnout and the uniforms in the audience, Tom was well respected by the greater fire community. In fact, just last month, just days before the 4th of July, the rural fire chiefs always get together and they gathered to strategize about the anticipated fireworks issues that trouble every fire department across the nation on a, that great holiday when it's hot and dry and a fireworks spark can catch a flame. Tom was a little late arriving to the meeting and everyone, everyone, waited until he walked through that door before starting the discussion. Someone even said, hey, we need to wait. Tom's not here yet. These rural fire department chiefs viewed Tom as one of their leaders. We all know Tom could be feisty as hell and stubborn as a mule at times, but maybe that's a lesson for all of us because Tom loved the Black Eagle community he knew it was up to him to help build the community, his fire community and the community at large. His life's work was driven to improving his fire team and protecting and promoting Black Eagle. As already has been said, Tom dedicated countless hours and personal time to making those improvements and he earned the respect of his fellow fighter, firefighters throughout the region. Today we honor Tom by reflecting on how we can give back to our community, no matter where you live. If you're a member of a fire company, thank you for protecting us. If you're a member of a fire board, thank you for serving and directing and guiding our fire departments. If you volunteer for a nonprofit organization, deliver meals to a neighbor, mow a lawn for a neighbor, or help in the maple cleanup, Thank you for building the Black Eagle community. And if you've been sitting by and watching, I urge you to take a tip from the way Tom led his life. Give back to your community in some small way, for that's the way we all grow stronger. Thank you, Tom, for all you've done for Cascade County. You're already missed. Tough, so I brought a helper to help me read. I don't know, you guys all know me, but I'm Larry. I'm the ex chief of St. Coley Fire Department. I've been on the uh, chief of the fire department for the last 30 years. I went through four chiefs with Black Eagle since I've been the chief. They've been a good help with us. They, every time we called, they come out and had no questions, no qualms. All the chiefs, the ex-chiefs, everything was good. All the crew is helpful. They don't cry about nothing. And I got, okay, who's getting paged out now? Tommy, I don't know about you. Two fires today and now the third one. Where are we going, Cascade? Uh-oh, that's our crew leaving. I hate to do this to you folks, but I drive the water tender. I'll let my daughter-in-law give the rest of the speech. I'll talk to you people later. Thank you. On behalf of Larry, I'll read his speech for him. He first, on behalf of San Coley Fire Department, he wanted to extend his gratitude to all the relatives and friends who have come today to honor this great man, Tommy Martin, a person we have all come to love and cherish for many years. 
The amount of people who have shown up to pay their last respects is only a testimony to the lives he personally touched. I was asked to speak today about Tommy, and honestly, it was one of the hardest requests I have been asked. All of us have known him in a variety of roles, a husband, a fellow firefighter, a mentor, and a great friend. I had the privilege of meeting him when he joined the Black Eagle Fire Department in 1994. We hit it off right away, and I think it was due to both of us having the smart aleck, same smart aleck attitudes. If you know me, you know I have a very smart mouth on me sometimes, and Tommy, both, Tommy and I both had the same. Excuse me. I had the honor of working with him as a fellow volunteer firefighter. He was always there for the Sand Coulee Fire Department whenever we needed mutual aid or had training sessions. We will never forget the courage and strength he showed on every single call. We are always able to count on each other and it won't be the same without him. Things we always remember, him, remember is him having to borrow our portable batteries because his were always dead. Whenever Zorb would see Tommy walking over to him, he would just hand over a battery because he knew what he wanted. Tommy could never keep those darn things charged. Or he would always be asking me for a chew because he was out out once again. Tommy had a special way with children, and I know my great-granddaughters loved him. They will never forget who gave them their stuffed moose animals. They actually have them here today with them. Tommy had so many ideas and plans for the Black Eagle Volunteer Fire Department. He was the one who started the Black Eagle Fourth of July Parade, and that was just one of many. He was always thinking of ways to make the department better. I know the guys will fulfill his dreams, make him proud. Tommy, thank you for being a great friend. I will miss you more than words can say. Thank you for your services and standing beside me through it all. Rest easy, buddy. I don't know if Tommy is still messing with us, but I just lost the back to my ribbons. It, it probably is him. He had a great sense of humor. And I think that since he mortally left us, he's been playing around. Uh, as most of you know, we've just went to international with our news two days ago, which is pretty exciting. I had a lot of great times with Tommy. Uh, a lot of times we were on the same crew together, and probably very many of those times in 305 right there. And we ran together so often that we pretty much knew what each other was thinking. Yeah, less than two weeks ago, we showed up on a fire that was threatening a trailer house, and we, we didn't even speak. You know, I, I called on scene, said we were being structure protection, and we didn't have to talk about what we were going to do. It was just automatic. Boom, boom. We were there. Had the thing taken care of pretty fast. But uh, we all love our chief. Uh, great sense of humor. Like I said, you know, we'd uh, face uh, a lot of tragedies together. But we had way more triumphs than tragedies. Because we worked great together. Uh, our team, we got a great team in Black Eagle. And we owe a lot of that to our chief. We will carry on. Mike's going to be a wonderful chief for us. And we're going to continue Tommy's tradition and excellence, making our department better, making our community better. It was amazing how uh, Tommy was there to support other groups and to support other members of the community, to help out other organizations as much as possible. And the work that he put into our 4th of July celebration was outstanding. We're going to miss you, brother. Great chief to us. Made an impact on so many of our lives. 
We love you. Rest in peace. So you know me, I'm Mike Deshays, I'm the assistant chief with Black Eagle. And what to say about Tom? I mean, Tom fashion, he ruined everything for me, the planning on what, you know, what I wanted to write. So he kept me busy with fires and dealing with, with a great, amazing department. Uh, you know, sharing with some of the stories, one comes to mind that we were on a, on a running grass fire, it was a really bad stormy night. Uh, eventually we ended up finding out that there was about 150 lightning strikes in the area that we were fighting fire. We got on scene and a bunch of us were on three, uh, 343 and I kind of knew where we were going because I lived out in that area. And we were out front trying to weasel the way our, through to big boulders and badger holes and we finally got down to the coulee of where the, the fire was. We decided to make entry into one spot. Got in there and we were getting ready to fight fire. And the fire roared right back up behind us, right behind Tommy. And he was in 305. And uh, one of our brothers, Mac Taylor, was with him. He was driving. I had the, the booster in line in my hand and trying to put out all the fire behind him so we wouldn't come up and burn him. In the, in his rear, and he just starts yelling at me, telling me to get going, put out the fire. That's what hand crews are for. I yelled right back at him and said, get your gear on. He yelled back at me, and I think it seemed like an eternity. We were just bannering back and forth. Finally, that stubborn, stubbornness stopped. And he turned around and opened up the door, yanked Mac out of the truck. He hopped in, slammed the door, and away we went. Oh man, I was I was so mad the rest of the night until we got to the station. Got back to the station, I was still fuming. He comes up to me and he pats me on the shoulder, and I knew right then and there that man had respect for me, and had the respect of every one of my brothers and my extended family in the fire service. Everybody in this county, the man loved us all. He was hard on us because he wanted us to be safe. He wanted the best for us. And by God, he, he did a really fine job. <laughs> you left some tall, big boots to fill, Tom. But once again, you got the best for us. We're gonna miss you and we're gonna carry on and I hope we do you proud. Love you, we'll see you soon. First of all, I want to thank everyone for coming. Tommy loved Black Eagle. Tommy loved all Cascade County, probably further than that. Every one of you in the fire department, he loved. He may have hollered at you, cursed at you, snubbed you sometimes, but in the back of his mind, he was teaching you to be safe. He loved you. He didn't want you to get hurt. Things would be on the wrong truck. Tommy's face would turn red. 
everybody would jump and they'd switch it around real quick before Tommy would know. I laughed many a times when he came home and told me how he would quickly fix things behind his back so he wouldn't get upset. His upsetness wasn't with you particularly. He loved you. He wanted to keep you all safe. He wanted you to be respected by other fire departments. Just recently, the city had a mutual aid with the volunteer fire department. That made him so proud. For years, they were trying to get together to have some kind of agreement. What it was about, I'll never know. But they finally agreed that they are brothers under the same sun and to help each other in all kind of difficulties. Tommy was there for everyone. Bob Diggle was there for everyone. I could name all the fire departments. Good they luck. were all there for everyone. Black Eagle needed help. We had mutual aid. Didn't have to even think about it. They put as many men on their trucks and came. They would ask Tommy, do you need water trucks? What do you need, Tom? Where do you want us to go, Tom? Are we doing it right, Tom? Where should we park, Tom? Is it a structure fire? Is it a grass fire? It didn't matter. We were there behind him 100% all the time. Morning, noon, and night, we got telephone calls at the house. It didn't matter. Tommy would say to the person who called, do you know what time it is? <coughs> okay, 11 o'clock. All right, we're still up. What's happening? It didn't matter. He loved you. I'll leave you one, one funny thing that happened. We were over at Gibson Park at the fire department to support an association that had abuse for children. And everything was going just fine. And Tommy didn't think there was going to be any problems. So they came out with the lanterns that they lit. And all of a sudden, there was these lanterns lit, flying up in the air. Tommy thought, oh my God, what is this? He almost fainted. I was there. He said, God, please don't let them fall on trees and grass. Please. Don't let us have to get called out for this. But he supported the group, and I thought it was kind of funny. His face, I'll never forget. After we got home, he kind of calmed down about it. And he kind of laughed. He said, Lynn, would you believe that? I said, yes. I'm sure they didn't realize the fire department was there. Or maybe that's why they wanted us there, Tom for those lanterns. I'll leave you with this one thought. As life goes by so quickly, and we're here for such a short time, so God's watching over all of us. Whether you're of any denomination, it doesn't matter. We're all under his protection. I would came from Pennsylvania, and I would pray all the time for all the fire departments. And we had a summer go by that there just didn't seem to be any fires. And two of the fire people came up to me one night and said, Lynn, are you still praying that we don't get fires? I said, yes, every night to protect you all. Please stop. We need a good fire. I was so astounded, I couldn't believe that there was a good fire. Good fire, I said. What is that? She said, well, we got to keep on our toes. we got to stay ready. We have to fight fires. We have to save people. We have to be ready for everything that is out there for us to have to put up with. Life is short. Do what you want to, but do it good. I have a hat at home. Do it once and do it right. And that is Tommy's motto. That's why he hollered at you. He wanted you all to do it once and do it right. 
be keeping us safe, whether it was yourselves, the community, the public, the family, and me. God bless you all for coming. Thank you for listening to me. I have a tendency to talk a long time. Thank you. Brothers and sisters, it's now time for the final commendation. Please shall we stand. <clears throat> With faith in Jesus Christ, we reverently bring the body of our brother Tommy to be buried in his human imperfection. Let us pray with confidence to God who gives life to all things that he will raise up this mortal body to the perfection and the company of the saints. May God give him a merciful judgment and forgive all his sins. May Christ, the good shepherd, lead him safely home to be with God our Father, and may he be happy forever with all the saints in the presence of the eternal King. The choirs of angels come to greet you. May they speed you to paradise. May the Lord enfold you in his mercy. May you find the eternal life. The Lord is my light and my help. It is he who protects me from harm. The Lord is the strength of my days. Before whom should I tremble with fear? May the choirs of angels come to greet you. May they speed you to paradise. May the Lord enfold you in his mercy. May you find the eternal life. Let us pray. Father, into your hands we commend our brother Tommy. We are confident that with all who have died in Christ, he will be raised to life on the last day to live with Christ forever. We thank you for all the blessings you gave Tommy in this life, to show your fatherly care for all of us and the fellowship which is ours with all the saints in Christ. Hear our prayer. Welcome our brother Tommy to paradise. Help us to comfort each other with the assurance of our faith. Until we all, until we all meet in Christ, 
to be with you and with our brother, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May the soul of Tommy and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the mighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our service is over. Let us now take the remaining remains of our body, our brother, to his final place of rest. May the choirs of angels come to greet you. May they speed you to paradise. May the Lord enfold you in his mercy. May you find the eternal life. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, that he grant me my heartfelt desire to dwell in the courts of our God every day of my life in his presence. May the choirs of angels come to greet you. May they speed you to paradise. May the Lord enfold you in his mercy may you find the eternal life oh lord hear my voice when i cry have mercy on me and give answer do not cast me away in your anger for you are the god of my help. May the choirs of angels come to greet you. May they speed you to paradise. May the Lord enfold you in his mercy. May you find the eternal life. You may be seated now.
Within the fire service community, we have a rich history that reflects honor and respect for those who have given so much and served so well. One such tradition is the tolling of the bell or the last alarm. For generations, the life of a firefighter was closely associated with the ringing of the bell. In the past, as firefighters began their tour of duty, it was the bell that signaled the beginning of that day's shift. Throughout the day and night, each alarm was sounded by a bell which summoned these brave souls to fight fires and place their lives in jeopardy for the good of the community. When the fire was out and the alarm was ended, it was the bell that signaled the call that was now completed. And when, in the course of the duty, duties, in the course of their duties, a firefighter gave the ultimate sacrifice, it was the mournful toll of the bell that signaled to all the loss of a fellow firefighter. A special ring of five rings, three times each, signals the last alarm of a firefighter. It declares that their duties are ended and proclaims that they are back in quarters, safe at home. Will everyone please stand? All uniformed personnel, present arms. Order arms. We will now have the last call for Chief Tom Martin. Fire dispatch. G3. Fire dispatch. G3. Fire dispatch. This is a final alarm for Fire Chief Tom Martin of the Black Eagle Fire Department. Tom gave 23 years to the department that he cherished and loved. He will leave a legacy of commitment, heroism, and service. Tom will forever be one of our brothers who we lift up as an example of bravery and commitment. Rest easy, Chief. We have the watch from here. 744 North, fire dispatch, end of watch at 1640.
this time I would ask all uniform personnel to file through the curtains on the west side of the building to form a sea of blue. If I could ask everybody else to remain in position for now, thank you. What's <laughs> 